All right, folks, we're off and running. Road trip in a Civic Type R. I'm gonna cover absolutely everything. We're gonna do efficiency testing. I'm gonna take it on Canyon Roads. We're gonna show you the ergonomics of the car. Jamie is currently sitting in the back with the baby. And you said it's actually fairly comfortable right back there, right? Yeah. Yeah, fairly comfortable. She has enough room. We're both six feet tall. Baby here, this seat is pushed up a decent amount. That's why Jamie is sitting in the back. But overall, with it in the comfort suspension setting with the adaptable suspension, it's actually pretty comfortable. 19 inch wheels, very thin tires. It's, it's really not bad so far. So this should be a really good video. I hope you enjoy it. Should answer all questions you have about the Civic Type R. few items I'd like to cover right out of the gates. Nice that it has a feature that shows what gear you're in that's useful. A lot of cars, surprisingly, manual transmissions do not show that, and I just think that's useful. Just one less thing to think about as a reference point. Currently getting 22.3 miles per gallon. Sound system's excellent in here. I think what I'm most impressed with so far is just the comfort of it. Like, as thin as the tires are, and this being the car that it is, I mean, this I feel like is more comfortable than my Model Y, which is crazy to say, but Model Ys just ride like bricks. Yeah, everything is good so far. The only downside is I don't have an automatic rev matching on and I'm in traffic right now. So, you know, the shifting gets kind of annoying in traffic. So I just need to stop the car to be able to change that setting. All right, so we've been sitting in traffic for 32 minutes so far. Now this car does surprisingly have adaptive cruise control, even though it's a manual transmission. The problem is when I go to hit resume, it just says speed is too low. So I was hoping I could possibly use it going low speeds like this, like you can in automatic transmissions, but you're not able to. So kind of an interesting small detail, but yeah, low speed traffic, driving a manual transmission is no fun and it does not have adaptive cruise that you can use at these low speeds. Type R made it to the Hyatt. I mean, it just looks right sitting out here. So we're in Sedona, spending the weekend here. Gonna do one of those timeshare meetings, but that's all right, whatever. Just completed breakfast, heading back. Boom, we got Tesla chargers, baby. Someone didn't know to put the plug back, but that's okay. We can get better every day. Tesla chargers are key. <laughs> So really my only complaint with the Type R so far is the exhaust. When you're on a road like this, forget it. It, it is so incredibly good. The exhaust kind of becomes in the back of your head because it is so well planted and just fun to drive. These seats keep you in place. Everything that is in the car starts to make sense. What I think would be a great fix from Honda is come out with a Honda factory performance exhaust that we can buy that basically mimics that of the Type S. That way people can buy something from Honda. You can charge two grand, three grand for it. People are gonna buy it and it would really enhance the car. The brake feel is so incredibly good. There's just nothing like driving a manual transmission and the balance this has, the shift lights dialing up right in front of you brings me pure joy. We're able to put the family in here fairly comfortably. The Civic is truly the car of the people. From the bottom of the lineup all the way up to the Type R, it's a tough car to beat and it's, it's really gotten better and more expensive over time. But uh, man, I'll say this about the Type R. You can go on a date and be disappointed. You can go to a dinner and be disappointed with the food. You can go to a movie and be disappointed with the movie. If you drive a Type R on a back road, you will never be disappointed. The Sedona road trip is coming to an end early. We're getting everything packed up here. You can see we got the car seat in the back and we also got stuff stored behind the seat. My wife is gonna sit back here because it's just easier to get access to the baby. And then we have the trunk fully packed up. You can see there's actually covers that go over everything 
to give you some privacy in the trunk. Overall, the car, it's spacious. You can get a lot out of it and still be in a really fun car to drive. My wife says she'd be happy if we never own a car again. She's a little sick and tired of getting out of the back of it. She likes SUVs better. You can get decent usability out of it. Good gas mileage. Also, take a look at this resort. We're at the Hyatt Pinion Point in Sedona. It was only 299 bucks to come up for the weekend. We're actually leaving a day early because we're in a, I'll show you. So we're in this type of room here and we're all sleeping in the same space. We just needed more space, but here's kind of a look at the room. The deal was really good, but it's good for two people and not a baby. So we're heading home. Overall, the road trip in the Civic Type R was surprisingly good. One thing I was worried about was cabin noise and the ride quality. The ride quality was great for what this car is, being something that can lap tracks extremely fast right from the factory. The thickness on the sidewall, only 30. Very thin tire here, 19 inch wheels. I think arguably the best looking, I think unarguably, the best looking wheels you can get. Also check out this valve stem here. I've never seen one like this, but I really like the design of it. It gets out of the way and gives you easy access to it. I did set the tire pressure to exactly what they should be. So I think it was, let's actually check it out. It is 35 in the front, 33 in the rear. So I set that before we went on the road trip. And despite driving fairly conservatively, we only got 21 miles per gallon, which is, this is rated at 22 in the city. I think the reason we got such poor gas mileage, only getting 200 miles out of the tank, which was about 9.5 gallons of gas. I think the reason we got so little out of it was because one, it was hot outside. Two, we went up to about 6,000 feet in elevation at one point. So you're really climbing hill. It's really hot outside. You're running the air conditioning. It just didn't do very well on gas mileage. But as far as usability goes, it's great. Now, what you may not like on road trips are the bolstered seats. They're very heavily bolstered. There's no lumbar support here. You can see you have this huge side support as well. But again, not bad. I could see it annoying you a little bit, but not bad. Also, kind of a funny thing in the back here. You can see it's just basic black cloth Civic seats. There's no middle seat, you just have your cup holders. And then throughout the entire car, you have the red carpets, which I absolutely love. It's not overdone or anything like that, but I do find it funny. You have these beautiful, well thought out track seats in the front, and then just the $20,000 Civic seats in the back. It's also worth noting it does have Type R etched into the back portion of the front seat. I think that is a really nice touch to the car. You also have the red stitching in here along with the suede effect Alcantara on the doors. So in the trunk as well, you do have, again, a lot of storage and you have this right here as I showed earlier in the video. You have this coverage here to give you a little bit more and this cover right here to fully cover the trunk despite it being a hatchback. I think that's really well thought out. These seats, it's a 60-40 split, almost might be 70-30, I don't know. You guys have to let me know. 70-30 or 60-40, what is it? So that's kind of a look at the uh, overall parts of the car. Yeah, I mean, it's a gorgeous looking car. I just found myself a lot on the road trip just staring at it. I mean, it's just so good looking. It's, I would say this is a better looking car than the Type S was. The Type S obviously has the better exhaust in my opinion. The shift feel is better. The power is more linear. The Type S, the power comes on earlier, has a better exhaust. You know, I feel like if you know you're gonna be going to the track, this is absolutely the one to go with. But this to me, was more fun to look at. And both the Type S and the Type R are gonna be fine for going on road trips as we demonstrated in this video. Now, if you wanna see seven unique features of the Acura Integra Type S, click this video right here. That'll be very useful comparing various features of the Integra to the Type R. I think you'll really enjoy this.